Hi, good day everybody, it's Rory Konecker here. Please excuse the background noise, but this is quite urgent that I get this message out. So I'm trying to use a microphone, but uh, I've had to drive to go and get uh, connectivity. So I'm in a, in a coffee shop at the moment. So just to let you know, there's only 25 days left to participate, to submit your claims for the Dubai legal case. If you were not part of the meeting that took place on the 2nd of August, please go and look at the recording. Um, otherwise, just to let you know that we have now officially been asked to submit the information through to the authorities. Important date to know, 31st of August is the last date to participate. In other words, send your details. After that, we are closing it off. We cannot keep it open as we need to get all our submissions through. As of the close of business on the 8th of August, so in other words, when you wake up on the 9th of August, if you've not received an invoice, then you are not on the database. And then we will have a new link where you can now send your details and then we will issue that invoice. Why an invoice? Because we are doing everything through iClick at PTY, which is a, 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 a registered company, which is audited. As well as from that, we're gonna issue you a receipt and linked to the receipt, you will get a claim number. And you will use that claim number that we send through to the Dubai authorities. Please do not wait until the last minute to do this. Make a priority to do it now. I cannot help you if you leave it too late. We aim to start submissions, again, aim to start submissions from the 9th of August, 2024, that's next week. We are just getting confirmation of the declaration form and we've had to make some adjustments that include multiple accounts for the Hyperverse, which we can now submit. I got confirmation of that over the weekend. So we aim to complete all the submissions through to the authorities by the 8th of September. And they gave us a date of the 15th of September, but I would like to have it one week earlier because we're anticipating the legal case around about that time, um, or that's what's indicated to me. Now, if you've received an invoice or where I'm getting the data from, this was through the original commitment form where everybody that wanted to participate submitted their details. Now, there are some people that have paid me. Uh, thank you very much for that. That has made this all possible, and I will address that in the next slide. But if you've received an invoice, it is because you committed to pay the $15 and you wanted to proceed to claim your money. Now, if you choose to change your mind, you must welcome. Just reply back to the invoice and say, I'm no longer interested and I don't want to claim my funds that are lost. And then what we will do, we will just void the invoice and take you off the database. So the choice is really yours. But this is where we're getting the database from. So with regards to the programs, if you are going to claim, you need to have some form of proof. You can't just say, I participated. And you can claim what you believe you owed and you're going to be able to do a declaration form. We'll give you all the details how to do that next week. So this is related to Sam Lee and the Hypertech Group. So the one, one of the big pro programs that uh, a lot of people were affected on was Hyper One, Hyper Community, Hyper Capital, Hyper Global, Hyper Fund, Hyperverse, Hyper Nation, Hyper Com Cosmos. So there were a lot of people affected of this program um, that took place during the COVID period. Then we have Stable Dow. So Sam Lee launched our Stable Dow, and a lot of po people participated and are owed funds. Vidilook, Beta and Live. Now this is a, also has been a, a great concern for a lot of people. So if you're involved in Vidilook, please make sure you get your claims in. Linked to Vidilook was a program called Stepstar that Sam introduced. And this was with the joint venture third party. If you paid for that program, please, you're gonna submit that claim on that as well. With regards to We Are Satoshi, this is a bit of a complex issue, but what we have confirmed is that up until where Sam was involved, and that is the prestige passes where Sam gave an undertaking and a guarantee that he was gonna give a check guarantee and a contract. And uh, for all those people that joined before that date. I have written to Chavez and I've written to him, this is the third time I've written to him. If he doesn't respond by the 8th of August, on the 9th of August, I will be making a decision to include all of We Are Satoshi into the program. I do understand that there are some issues with Boomerang, but I would like to give Chavez the benefit of the doubt. But right now, there are people that could have got their money back on We Are All Satoshi and have not been given that money. We know that money was invested in a cashier 
but why was it not returned to the people? Chavez needs to answer those questions and I've given him until the 8th of August. If he ignores my uh, response, it's the third time I've reached out to him and I did have a verbal conversation with him in the beginning of the year. It's up to Chavez now to respond. Then Sam launched another program called VAV and then there was another one called VEND and then the new one that's been sort of added onto the list and this has come out of discussion with the authorities is HyperBC. Now HyperBC is an exchange that's applying for a license in Dubai and this is linked to the Hypertech group. It is our understanding there are people that have money in that exchange and are not able to take the money out. So if you're one of those people, please include your claim. Let's talk about the invoices and proof of payment. Now what changed is when we originally asked for everybody to pay, we were expecting people to pay in USDT Tron and, what is, and PayPal. What subsequently happened is that many people were not able to get USDT, which I found quite strange because most of the programs only require USDT to participate. Now things might have changed in their country or their law, but what we've done is we've opened it up to four kinds of payment. Now when you've paid, you basically sent your details through and sent a proof of payment. Now because this is going through a South African company, I click it, we need to convert that to South African RANDs, which is ZAR. So if you just have received an invoice out of the blue and you have already paid, please don't panic and don't pay again. And it's not $349, it's 349 Rand. So we stabilized the Rand dollar exchange rate and you will see on the invoice it's $15 for the fee, that hasn't changed, but we've needed to accommodate $2.50 and that covers two things, the pay fast and debit card, credit card fees, and the other one is the conversion rates that move up and down. So if you paid before June 2024, please be patient. We are adjusting each and every invoice. We have to go into each one, check the confirmation of payment, make the adjustment, update the invoice and send that through to you. We are sending out the bulk invoice to everybody so that you know that you're on the database. So if you received an invoice and you have paid, please don't pay again. You only have to pay once. And these invoices have been sent out so that you are able to get a receipt. With that receipt, you'll be issued a claim number. And that claim number is what you're going to be submitting to the authorities. So we aim to have all those people that have paid before June or have paid, we aim to have a receipt sent through to you by the 14th of August. So please don't panic. We have got full records of everything and we've got full records of all the emails that you have sent us as well. I spent the whole day yesterday going through all the emails and working with the staff and you will start to get communication from the email address askwarec at gmail.com confirming that we have received your email. So you'll more than likely get your receipt way before the 14th but I'm just using that date to be absolutely sure because there's around 2,000 receipts that we've got to work through. So please be a little patient but I can show you that we aim by the 14th of August to make sure that everybody's got the receipt. If you receive an invoice two times, please do not pay twice. And remember, the invoice will say 349 rands. But when you pay, you will be able to pay in your own currency. I will be sending a separate um, email on this, exactly how to pay with debit card and credit card, and it converts the currency. We addressed this and I did a live demonstration on that on the meeting on the 2nd of August. So if you're not sure or a little bit concerned, please wait for the next communication and you will see exactly how to do it. If you have not paid and you received an invoice, please follow the instructions and read the email. You might come across a error 400. That means you'll need to click on a link and make a payment and then just send the proof of payment to us. So it just depends. Some browsers have an issue, some don't. So if you have not received an invoice as yet, please don't panic. We're going to be sending out all the bulk invoices today and tomorrow. So before the 9th of August, everybody that's on the database will get an invoice and then it's your choice to participate or not. We really are running low on time and we want to focus on getting things through. So that's really it from me. Um, please watch out for emails. We're going to have a lot of communication this month. It could be on a daily basis. 
Some of it may be repeating. Please be patient. That's also to reach out to other people so they don't also lose out. Thank you for taking the time to see this. Let's get our claims in and let's get to the truth, justice, and we want to get our money back. Thank you.